ESO, the European Southern Observatory, is a place of great diversity. A place where talented engineers, astronomers and many other specialists from all over the world meet and work together. A place where knowledge is shared to provide the astronomical community with the tools to conduct cutting-edge research. This is the ESOcast, cutting-edge science and life behind the scenes at ESO, the European Southern Observatory. ESO has been a focal point for European astronomy for more than 50 years. It is engaged in almost every aspect of astronomy, from innovative engineering to the publication of scientific results. Here, world-class telescopes are designed and operated. Collaborations are formed to build new instruments. Committees meet to evaluate requests for telescope time. Astronomers use the telescopes to study the universe and conferences are held for them to share their results. None of this would be possible without the constant engagement of individuals. The astronomical community that ESO is dedicated to supporting. It is only by continued interaction with this community that ESO remains such an important player in modern astronomy. Among ESO's greatest assets are its talented employees, engineers, astronomers and many other specialists. One of the ESO scientists who is well known to ESOcast viewers is our regular presenter, Dr. J, aka Dr. Joe Liske. Joe joined ESO in 2003. During his career, he has been involved in a number of cutting-edge projects especially in the department responsible for the EELT, the European Extremely Large Telescope, eventually becoming the project's lead scientist. The EELT is ESO's flagship project and is also one of the most ambitious astronomical engineering projects ever undertaken. Its gargantuan main mirror, 39 meters in diameter, will collect more light than all the existing large optical telescopes in the world put together. And it will produce images 15 times sharper than those produced by the Hubble Space Telescope. When the EELT ushers in a new era of ground-based astronomy, Dr. J, along with many hundreds of other scientists and engineers, will have played his part in this momentous advance. But astronomers are a very mobile breed. They move between countries and research organizations on a regular basis. And now our very own Dr. J is leaving ESO and moving to the Hamburg Observatory, where he has been awarded a professorship. Building on his experience at ESO, he will continue to study how the universe has evolved over its 13.8 billion year existence. And he will also continue to be involved in developing the instruments being built for ESO's telescopes that will make that study possible. Even though he has now become a part of the very community that he has served for many years through his work at ESO, Dr. J, or Professor J, as he now is, will continue to be closely involved with ESO's work, collaborating on new advanced instruments for ESO's telescopes and serving on working groups. And, of course, we will still invite him to host our series of ESOcasts and Hubblecasts. Joe's career illustrates the importance of ESO to the community of astronomers in Europe and the importance of that community to ESO. 
It is only by maintaining a strong synergy with the community that ESO can continue to provide state-of-the-art astronomical facilities. By attracting the best scientists and engineers, ESO remains at the forefront of astronomy. Astronomers gain valuable insights into designing and operating world-class facilities. Insights that will be enormously valuable in their future careers. As Joe Liske enters the next phase of his career, ESO moves into a future full of exciting new projects and further insights into our vast and mysterious universe.